a lot of people might have missed a lot of important things happened last week, uh, but these were crowded out or covered up by the big story politically, of course, was the verdict right. uh, with Donald Trump. But while this was happening, uh, some incredible things happened uh, under the cover of that. One of those was the U.S. Uh, and Britain struck uh, Yemen uh, in major airstrike um, in multiple cities. That escalation was very much underreported, but there's something else I'm going to bring on screen, Daniel, which I'm sure you're well aware of. Uh, this was from Politico, a leak to Politico uh, that Joe Biden had secretly given a green light to uh, Zelensky, to the Ukrainians, uh, to hit targets inside Russia with U.S. weapons. Daniel, this is a total reversal of everything that's been said publicly for the last two plus years, and there it is, drifted out as a leak to Politico. And when I saw that, Daniel, I'm sure you were concerned to see this as well, that maybe more bad news is going to follow that. And indeed it has. But uh, your thoughts on this, how this has played out and what your concerns are. It troubles me just the fact that this was a secret decision that was made when, when you're talking about the president of the United States giving authorization as the commander in chief to take actions which with American uh, military, probably even cooperation and certainly with our uh, assets, can strike a nuclear weapon state uh, and, and potentially drag us into a war. And it, it doesn't even get discussed, doesn't even get debated, much less authorized by Congress before anything like that can happen it is a big trouble. Because, look, if, if this goes bad, if this goes sideways, uh, you, you know, there, you don't get to choose pretty much what happens after that. This thing could explode and, and draw us into a direct confrontation, which could all too easily go nuclear with Russia. And, and they're very aware of this and they're they're not hiding it. This at the highest levels. They keep warning us over and over and saying, don't think we're bluffing here because we're not. We're not going to allow our country to be attacked basically by NATO countries directly into their country.